All right, guys. Hello. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Now, this is the moment of history. This is a huge moment in history of my channel. Today is the first day that I'm starting a new LP from my brand new Charles computer. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idle did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Okay, so welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance, a game that I've wanted to LP for quite a while, a game that I have completed on PS4, but I haven't done it on PC yet. Now, I haven't changed any of the settings, but I am recording this in 4K. Um, 21, whatever it is, resolution uh, or uh, recording. So the files are going to be quite big, but this computer is well in its right to handle that stuff. Now, I have not been able to get my Elgato to work, so I'm still recording this with action, but to be honest with you, it doesn't matter too much. It's not a big deal. Um, but I'm really excited for this LP. Um, I'm going to do the first video for now, and just see how people react to it. Um, I'm going to make these, these LPs a bit more... Um, laid out better where I do a video and then I don't do it all in bulk um, but I let you guys decide whether or not you want me to continue this game or not now obviously I am recording this with my microphone and my new headset which I haven't yet uploaded to the channel but I will upload it at some point once I get the uh, unboxing of my new PC up and edited so I will be doing that over the weekend so you will be seeing an L a LP. You will be seeing a video unboxing of my headset, my mic, my PC, and then once I get everything properly done and my desk is all fine and ready and cleared of various stuff I've got on it right now, um, you will see my actual setup in a video. I will show off my setup. I've of course as well got green screen, so on the days that I do start live streaming, I will have green screen behind me. Uh, but I won't be doing that till I've moved. Um, I'm currently trying to move and I can't do green screen. Oh, I do apologise. Uh, sorry about that. Um, at this moment in time. So, without further ado, we're going to start this game. Now, of course, as you know, I have played this game. But um, people may say, well, why are you playing this game, Classic? I mean, you're a classic gamer. This is not really a classic game. Well... I have decided, and I decided this before I started this, that yes, I'm still going to play classic games. Yes, I'm still going to record them in 4K. But a lot of the old games, even though I'm going to be recording them in 4K, doesn't exactly mean they are, you know, they are 4K games or games that are designed to be in 4K. 
I'm going to be doing games in 4K. I'm going to be recording them in 4K. Doesn't exactly mean that they will, you know, the game itself I was seeing is 4K. The videos will be 4K. Um, the games, obviously, with Gun and Fear won't be. Now, I have started Fear 2 already, but... I've lost the save data and I think I'm going to restart that game. I'm going to say do the same thing with Gun and the only other LPs I've got at the moment that are due to be uploaded are Vice City Stories and Liberty Stories, which I may well redo them anyway. I don't know quite know yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not really keen on Liberty City Stories. But I refer by City Stories. So we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll go with the flow and see what happens. Um, I'm going to be... Prob I have started editing uh, Liberty City Stories. Um, so I will be obviously doing them in full 1080p. And then from the continuation from now, things will be in 4K. Um, and when I get live streaming and stuff like that, um, and I'm able to use my Elgato, I'll be using the actual hardware in my computer. I will... Uh, give a rundown of my specs of my computer uh, at some point. I'll, g I'll give you guys a rundown of what exactly they are and how good they are and what exactly you might comp that means for my computer. So if we go to settings, now can we? Okay, so the. Hmm. Overall. Ultra high custom. I don't know if I actually actually can do it in ultra high, but we'll try it. Should we see how it looks? Well, it seems to be all right. So everything is on, on, on ultra high. Everything is on ultra high. So everything is actually on ultra high right now, which is really, really good. Um, I'm liking that. So this is going to be the intro cutscene. I'm going to go and grab myself a drink and I'll leave you guys to enjoy it. So if I know, if there is a bit of slowdown, please let me know. Um, I'm going to make this a sort of a test, to see how things look and how things run. So let me know uh, how things look and how, and if things look a bit weird, tell me and I'll adjust the settings for the next video. But we're going to do normal mode. Now, I've, I've one more thing before we start. I have installed a mod for this with playthrough. The mod is um, lock picking. Now, in the PS4 version, I could not do lock picking to save my fucking life. Honestly, I could not even attempt to lockpick anything it was so hard and they simplified it in a patch but it was still difficult for me so this hopefully should simplify the lockpicking just that little bit more make it a little bit better and it'll be easier there is a there is a mod where you can actually unlock everything depending on your skill level that's the one i think i've got at the minute um on on the uh, on, on the mod so hopefully this will work um I think that's better to have a, a one that is devoted to your skill level. So once I get to level six, I can then go up to medium level locks and then hard and then very hard, etc., etc. Uh, there is a mod that you can get where you just click a button and you simply unlock the door. I probably am going to do that because I'm going to go on some robbing in this game. <laughs> I'm going to go and steal anything I can from anywhere I can in order to get money that I need. Obviously, you can't sell everything to normal merchants. You have to go see fences. I'll get into that a bit later. But without further ado, guys, let's start the game. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. I'll let you guys enjoy the intro. I'll go and get myself a drink.
graphics are just incredible. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorch. <laughs> Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> all right, here we go. First real 4K LP. Oh my god. Oh, it's dropping about 12 frames there. state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Yeah, I already know how to do this. Speech. I was with Bianca. We were, um, talking. Talking, were you? That's what you call it, is it? Stop it, Ma. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, Ma. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Mother. You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the forge on to you one day soon. You've been courting that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Okay. Right, so the controls are fairly simple. Actually, really, really, good, really easy as well. E is inventory. Oh no, E is E is E. Sorry. E open door. So E basically for everything.
So I'm not going to make this for very long. Uh, maybe I should turn down the... Uh, oh no, it's back to... F it's that, is that 50 frames at the minute? At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. <laughs> sure I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Okay, so one thing I will say about what you need to do in this game is when you go round, you need to collect various like herbs and like, and, like spices from the ground. So like you'll see sort of like nettles and stuff like that when if you collect these and you if you go around scallops at the beginning then this is a this is the tutorial part of the game if you go around all around the um village like here where is it see down the line so if you if you collect it if you do that uh over and over and over and over eventually you'll you will improve your your uh herbalism so it will mean that your skill levels are higher in this game there's no magic there's no, there's nothing like that. It's all you have to do your skills. So with sword play, for example, you have to practice uh, archery. You have to practice, you know, all stuff like this. It requires you to really, really work hard on actually improving your character. Because if you don't, well, then Henry will just be what he is. A useless sword fighter. See, a new level in herbalism. So you can now increase that if you wish. So if we go... Um, how do I go to my inventory? There we go. So, player, main level, skills, herbalism. So you can't actually increase it yet, but you can see that this has increased. So once it gets to here, it will increase the second level. So if we continue to collect, Eventually, we will pick up what we want, or gain the skill that we want, at least. Also, the same with, with going around and sneaking and stuff like that. You increase your stealth, you increase uh, the ability to knock people out. Uh, you can actually get a lot of stuff at the start of the game, uh, and then use it later on in the game to sell it. In order to get loads of money. Money is very difficult to come across in this game. Ah! There we go, another skill reached.
okay so this does take quite a long time to do it so you know if you don't want to spend time going around you don't need to but it's definitely worth it because improving your herbalism will actually allow you to make things later on like poisons and stuff like that a lot of this i don't actually know how to do so i'm hoping that this this lp will actually teach me some new stuff i barely got through the initial playthrough that i did before and i didn't actually finish my initial playthrough i got to like where you can build your own uh, town and stuff like that i'll get onto that another time but you can obviously do that in a village later on in the game much later on in the game actually um I might actually add the uh, mod where you can save anywhere. Because that's so much easier than having the mod, having no, not having that at all. Might go and do this sword fighting now, actually. see how we're doing on our skills. Oh, I haven't got any of that. So we're level, you can see we're level 4. So our speech is up to level 2. So our strength is level 1. But our main level is almost uh, level 2, <coughs> which is good. So that, that's just purely from collecting all these... Uh, Sages and uh, dandelions. So it's definitely worth doing that. It might take a bit of time, but it's definitely worth it. Come on.
So now we've got a new perk available. So we go into our player and skills, herbalism. We can now choose one. So what's, what's this? This is, if your horse has enough fragrant herds in stable bag, it will shy less. If you've got enough fragrant herds in your inventory, you'll get a charisma bonus. Right, I think that's enough collecting herbs. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goal when talking to people. You can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can use simple speech, which however is influenced by your reputation you have at the moment with the person you're talking to. In the day, your social status was paramount. So quality of your attire and how well groomed you are together with your reputation can make a big difference on how people respond to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will have more warning to assign risky tasks to you. Uh, that's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effort of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You have to agree on persuasion some. Bribing people works in the same way as, sh as shopping. So... Let's just get rid of this. Look, I know things aren't easy. The wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore! How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Take care. Oh! Oh. Ah. Ah. No curva. Had enough. <coughs> <coughs> Oh! 
Damn it. You had it coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. Well, that failed. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? When I asked Kunish to pay, he fought me instead. That bastard. You don't look too bad, though. Did you get the better of him? I'm fine, but he didn't give me the money. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll sort him out this evening. I've no time for him now. I can take care of him. Well... You're a man now, and a man has to earn respect. Give that drunken sot what's coming to him. But watch out, he's no stranger to a fight. And whatever you do, don't tell your mother. Bloody hell, I think I might need the help of the boys. You can get the others Ma? to help you. Ah, Ma! I'm hurt. You won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. All right, then, guys. I think I've got what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that here. Um... Where did it save it? Uh, okay. I haven't got the ability to save it. I tell you what, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna go put, I'm not gonna worry about the herbalism as well. So I've shown you off, off how to do it. I'll go off off screen. Um, and I'll do that next time. Um, it won't take me that long. But that's it guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure bringing you this first video. I'll see you all next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye for now.